Hey guys, here at Equip Expo 2025, we're over here in the Hydro Gear booth, and they got something new. It's gonna walk us around and uh, we're gonna check it out. Yeah, so here we have a hybrid machine. And uh, what that means is we've got a gas engine on it, but it also has a battery. Uh, this machine here is a showcase of Hydro Gear's technology. So we don't have a specific plan of going into production with it at this point. Um, you know, we're looking at it and benchmarking it and, and that type of thing, but it's, it's really pretty uh, cool what they have going on. And um, I think what I'll do here is, is kind of walk you through how it works at a little bit more detail level because it's pretty interesting what they've done. So first off here we have a battery. And it's not as big as an electric mower would have because it's hybrid. But this battery here will characterize as probably about a 30 minute runtime, somewhere around there. Obviously it's going to vary a lot whether you're in heavy grass or light grass. And then down here we have the, the uh, wheel motor. It's electric wheel motor. It's something they already have for electric mowers the same thing that would be on hybrid. And then this spindle here is an electric driven spindle, but it also has a pulley on it. And what's interesting about this is that there's a one-way mechanism in here. So the blade can spin electrically without the engine running. And if the engine comes on, it can apply additional torque to the spindle. And so you get heavy grass, the engine will come on and assist it. Or if the battery level gets low, the engine can come on and the engine will actually generate electricity to refill the battery through this blade spindle. So this different load conditions will act as a motor or a generator, and it's all completely automatic. You know, it's, and that's actually interesting. Once the machine's running and the blades are on, you almost don't notice the engine kicking on or off. And part of that is because this engine here, usually they run at 3,600 RPM, which is kind of a fast speed. But with this hybrid, the machine runs at a lower speed uh, about 400 rpm lower and so it's a little bit quieter and also at that speed the engine's a lot more efficient so the engine's running and the engine doesn't when it's running it's running at, at load but at efficient rpm and that way it's most effectively charging the battery the least amount of fuel consumption now when it's when the engine's running in your heavy conditions one of the things about the hybrid is it's not just about efficiency between the engine and the electric blade motors this thing can put out about 40 to 50 horsepower um, in conditions like that because you know the two systems adding on top of each other. Um, coming around back here, what they've done is they've set this machine up with uh, multiple options here. So if I switch this over here, the script panel tells me that it's in engine power mode. And so if I return the blade on, the engine's going to come on right away middle setting it's automatic and there the engine will come on as it's needed shut off if it's not needed and then I can also select EV mode and what this does is it forces the engine not to come on so maybe you go on a property where you want it to be extra quiet and you want it to simply run on the battery you get about 30 minutes in that mode then next job you put it in auto and the battery would self charge up again um, now it's not only hybrid you could plug it in and charge it here and get that battery topped up just to reduce the amount that the engine has to run. Well, that kind of gives you a sense of, you know, what is it they're doing. This is not just about fuel efficiency, while that's part of it. It's also about power and torque. And uh, these transmissions, they're, they're real zippy. So here in a minute, I'll start up the engine and drive it around. It'll be hard. I wouldn't be able to talk while it's running. But you'll see here, uh, the engine will kick on, you know, after the machines drive around and the blades are, are running. So pretty cool technology. Like I said, um, it's all in the investigative stage right now, and um, we're proud to be partnered with Hydro Gear. We've been working with them for, for decades, and they're, um, they're always on the front edge of developing new technologies and always ensuring that uh, the quality is good before they bring anything to market. And um, On our autonomous mower, they're a deeply embedded partner in that system, and uh, we've been really happy with um, about half of what's here is on our autonomous mower, and we've been really happy with those components. So I'm going to turn on the PTO switch.
run across the guy Edison Motors. Edison Motors, right? They're up in uh, Western Canada. And they take these logging trucks and they retrofit them with electric drives. They've got logging trucks. Massive amount of people that are really fascinated with these hybrid logging trucks. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that that audience really loves to see. Yeah. Logging trucks. Okay. Works well for a logging truck because as they go down the mountain, yeah. they can generate a ton of power. Wait, tell that story again. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying was um, Edison Motors is uh, a couple of folks that are Western Canada and they do a lot on YouTube. And uh, what they've done is they've taken these older trucks that had a lot of life left in the frame and they've retrofitted them to being uh, hybrid. And so it has a massive diesel engine on the front. So when you're climbing the mountain, you know, you got the, the power, but when you're coming down, um, there's a ton of regen potential because uh, instead of doing engine braking, you could be charging the battery. And that's an example where hybrid technology is um, its not just a fuel reduction, but overall it's a system that um, with as much electric technology we have, um, create a better product. And I think that's part of what's evolving right now.